Hey everyone, Charlie here. I am back in Sabae um, after a failed attempt to complete the Nakasendo Trunk Road over the last week. What to say about it? What to say? Well, the experience was fantastic. Um, I made it just about 50... Jesus, there's so many bees here. Literally, all you hear... I don't know if you guys can hear it, but there's this low... low pitch buzzing around me because there's this giant... There's these giant bumblebees or honeybees or whatever they are and these trellised flowers up here and just like trying to remain calm. I had a traumatic experience with bees as a child. So anyway, so I made it, I made it uh, just short of 60 miles, 55, 60 miles from Kyoto um, in just about in four, four or five, five days of hiking. And what an experience, what an experience, even though it ended in a way I'm not terribly happy with, um, I made it to Sekigahara which I've always, I've always wanted to see and I'm going to be doing a video about Sekigahara. I have some footage from Sekigahara I'm going to be using. Uh, probably won't be any videos from the hike itself out for the next couple of weeks just because I'm trying to decide what to do with that. I don't know if I want to, if I want to make it like a travel, a travel video or just like, oh, here I am walking around like my normal vlogs. But yeah, but anyway, so I made it to Sekigahara, um, the site of this really, really important samurai battle that I'm so, so happy I was able to get there. All said and done, I finished maybe like a fifth of the trail, right? And that's not what I wanted to do, you know. Um, I wanted to be in Tokyo this time next week. Um, but unfortunately, uh, on the second day it was, I was leaving Otsu. And I guess in my mind I figured that if I was going to be hurt, like I expected, I expected to get hurt and have blisters and be uncomfortable and just be exhausted and sore the whole time, right? Like, but... Um, you don't expect to be hurt as you're walking through a city. Um, and, and anyway, so basically what had happened is I was walking through one of the shrined areas in Otsu because I, I thought it was really beautiful and I walked through there and not paying good enough attention, I caught my foot on a large root for one of the Japanese maples that was on the ground and I got my ankle really good. And I thought, okay, it's just a minor minor twist or whatever, but then I woke up the next morning, it was sore. I woke up the next morning after hiking, and I had to cut my distance in half that day. And then finally, yesterday, I after the hike, after making it to Sekigahara, I was like, all right, well, I came this far. I, can, I have enough right now where I can get a good chunk of my book written, um, and I have a story to tell, and I got something done, right? And the thing is to consider, too, like, if I... W if I were still writing full time, I probably would have cut my distance in half every day, so I could have kept on going week by week. But the thing, the fact that I have to be back to work next week and play with my kids, right, during my classes, and I'm expected to be energetic and bouncy and able to move, right? Um, I have a responsibility to my company and my kids to uh, make sure I can put on my lessons. So that's that was a big part of it. So I feel like I feel like I'm very I'm very disappointed. I'm very disappointed in, and at first it was hard not to take that disappointment as like disappointment in myself, um, because that's how I felt at first. But now I just sort of feel disappointed because of the way it, it shook out, right? But I did it. I started it. Um, I have a place to pick off of, pick pick up from rather. Even if I have to do, jeez, it's so loud. Even if I have to pick up and do a stage at a time, one weekend by one weekend by one weekend, I don't care. I'm gonna get it finished because it needs. I started it. You know, I have to finish. I've said I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Yeah, I just wanted to give you guys that update, uh, and thank you, thank you so much for everybody on Twitter who has been really supportive, like, when I started out walking, and you guys were really sort of being my cheerleaders, and I really appreciate that, and then yesterday when I announced I was coming home, you know, a lot of you, I was in such a bad place, and I really, I truly, I just wanted to sit there and cry when I, when I made the decision to come home a week early, right, but, um, yeah, yeah, you guys, thank you so much for your support, um, I continue to be surprised and amazed by what YouTube, about what this community can do. So um, this is getting a little long, so I'm going to separate this video from the next one. I'm going to do an update video, but thank you guys. Thank you as always so much for watching, and uh, see you guys soon. Cheers.